It is the countdown to cruise day, February 19, 20 and 22, the Carnival Glory out of Nolens. Hey, you going? I'm going. I'm gonna tell you all about it right after this. Stevens welcome to blue collar cruising okay this is the place where we sit here and talk cruising and we go cruising okay and listen I've been kind of quiet on the channel here you know uh, as you could tell a Cowboys fan and uh, well it is Monday and it is the 23rd and it's 27 days away from the carnival glory and the Cowboys are done, but I'm still a fan, always will be a fan, and I will gladly and proudly wear this cap. I will not throw it away until, you know, I just wear it out. Well, anyway, so, uh, so we're getting ready, getting ready, um, and in the past I've done videos like this talking about things I'm doing to get ready, and, you know, it's uh, less than four weeks away, and so... Uh, follow me along as I tell you my journey and the things that we're going to be doing on the glory uh, on that cruise and um, and how we're preparing for it. So I'm in Old Red here. All right, I'm headed to the gym, headed to the gym, and uh, because here's my goal by the by the cruise. It's less than four weeks away now, and I says a couple of days ago I says that I want to lose ten pounds in four weeks it's doable I'm a tall heavy set guy I'm uh, uh, 6'4 and I'm 340 I'm that big uh, but I like to be down to 330 yes that's right uh, but but I will say this um, I have lost a lot um, it wasn't a couple of years ago that I was 400 pounds Yes, that's correct. I was over 400 pounds, and it was uh, not good. So we're doing a lot better. We 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 uh, we weight train. We do run. I, I am a runner. I'm a trotter. I'm a jogger. I'm gonna say jog. I'll say a jog. Uh, but yeah, I'm very. I'm not. Uh, I'm not so overweight where I can't get around. I, I am. I am uh, very active. So with that being said, guys. Um, Hey, that, that's my journey. That, that's my journey from here to there. Now, on the cruise, on the cruise, we've got a uh, couple excursions. Got, got a couple excursions. Um, first of all, it's our second time on the Glory. The Glory is a nice ship. If you've never been on, a, on the Glory, it, it is a nice. It's rather basic, but I like basic, okay? You don't have all the bells and whistles that the newer ships have, but it's still a nice ship. And, and it's a good ship to go spend seven days on. And that's exactly what we're going to do. Looking forward to going down to Mississippi. That's a fun thing to do. If you've never gone down the Mississippi River on Sunday or, you know, on cruise day, that is, um, that, that's something to, uh, that's something to do because most, most of these cruise ports here, once you leave the port, you're out at sea, you know. And there goes the land. No, you see the land all the way up until midnight or so, and then you, then you're out in the Gulf. So that's fun. Now the excursions I have in Jamaica, we have this, and we've done this before. These excursions I've, you know, that we have, we've done before. This one is a, um, I forgot what you call it, but you get in back of a truck, right? And they take you all around uh, different places in Jamaica or around. Um, around the area there like a little it's like a waterfall and places like that you get to see a lot of the uh, Jamaican culture and stuff like that um, the last time we've done this excursion was uh, in 2016 and so it's been a while and uh, we've done it before but hey it's something to do let's do it again uh, out of the stuff that we've done in Jamaica that's our favorite thing that we've done so we're gonna do that um, 
if you're looking for an excursion in Jamaica, that's that's a good one. Uh, also, there are some beach, uh, the, some beach ones. Uh, we went to one. Um, I forgot what it's called. It wasn't the greatest of times because there's just so many people there. Between the people at the resort uh, that were staying there, and then they bring you there to that resort wasn't the greatest of time because of that because of just so many people yeah the water was fun the pool was cool the jerk chicken was great but um, outside of that it was it, it, I wouldn't have done that again so uh, the next time we go to Jamaica which will be this summer we're probably likely to stay on the ship um, so there's that and then a lot of people go to waterfall there's like a waterfall there's there's all sorts of stuff to do in Jamaica uh, that I'm not really interested in so anyway um, so our next stop is in Grand Cayman. Um, we're not doing anything exciting there. One of the things we've always wanted to do is just get off the ship and roam around the port. And that's what we're going to do. And there's one of the things that uh, one of my cruise buddies told me about, and I saw them do it last time I was there, is that uh, they catch these fish, right? You can catch a fish. You, they'll give you a rod and reel. You can catch a fish they have there. And, and then you catch them, you reel them in, and uh, they'll they'll clean them and you can eat the fish right there. But if you don't, if you don't want to do that, they still have fish you can eat there. So uh, I think that's going to be Grand Cayman for us and do some shopping. And then Cozumel, we are going to uh, what I believe is the best beach for us, and that's Naichi Kakom. Now Naichi Kakom, to me, the reason why I say it's the best for us is because wife and I, and we're going to have our sister-in-law, or my sister-in-law, her sister, uh, with us this time, but we're real chill people, right? We're, we're not rowdy and, you know, we're not into the booty music and all that kind of stuff, if you know what I'm talking about, the booty music. So, um, Naiji Kakom is limited guest, right? So you have to book early. Uh, I think 150, I think, I could be wrong on that number. Uh, we, we reserved our spot oh gosh months ago right and um and let me tell you it is chill it's spaced out you're not crammed in like sancho's mr sancho's or sancho's i even say it um they do you, you are a lot closer together with each other they're trying to get as many people on that beach as possible mr sancho's is great uh it is the more party atmosphere it is a little bit more rowdy and uh, i like sancho's but I like Naichi Kakom better. I will say this, if you could put Naichi Kakom on Passion Island, it would have been a perfect excursion. Now, Naichi Kakom, you got a book. You don't book that through Carnival. You book that through um, through their website, Naichi Kakom. Just Google it, Naichi Kakom. There's not uh, not that many Naichi Kakoms out there. As a matter of fact, you Google it and it pops right up. Uh, but anyway, so that's our Cosmel. Um, and things like that so as a youtuber though um I, I i do film i do film stuff right i like to snorkel uh do all this stuff no snorkeling on this cruise not even bringing my snorkeling stuff um but but i do like to do youtube videos out there as you, a lot of you guys may know you may have saw my cruise videos um so getting ready for that um i'm that's one of the things I've got to do is just go through my inventory of all my GoPro stuff. Uh, my DSLR camera is a bit outdated. I bought that thing about five years ago and whatnot. Um, it doesn't do 4K or anything like that. Is it time for a new one? Yeah, are we buying it before this cruise? Probably not, but uh, we've got uh, three other cruises we're going on this year. And uh, so that may happen later on. But just the GoPro accessories, right? I've got a GoPro 10. What I'm recording this on is a, uh, well, I've got a GoPro 9, my, my bad, GoPro 9. Uh, this camera right here is a GoPro Max. It's the 360. If you guys see uh, some of my 360 footage, uh, that's what this one's uh, recording on. I don't like the microphone on this because it's picking up a lot of this sound from the road where my other my other camera has i have the uh, external mic to it and it takes out a lot of stuff a lot, it's real noise canceling i noticed this on this camera back about a year ago it was almost well yeah it was right exactly a year ago in february um we went on a carnival vista 
stopped and uh, the weather got really bad as we were leaving and the audio was horrible <laughs> okay and i said from now on, i've got to use a better microphone for these gopros because i do like filming with gopros when i'm vlogged because it does make it a lot easier it makes it a lot easier uh as you're just roaming around instead of carrying a, a big dslr uh and all that so that being said 27 days away from the carnival glory um it will be our last cruise as a gold uh, our next cruise we will be platinum we will be platinum on the next cruise so uh, we'll we'll enjoy it I will have a room tour something I didn't do for the last time we were on the glory and my wife was was kind of not happy about that she said didn't you do a room tour it's like no why not you're supposed to because she wanted to go look and just kind of remind herself what these cabins look like so so I will be doing a room tour and uh yeah, we'll be drinking our, our, our drinks, the Twilight Zone, Miami Vice, those are two favorites, those are my go-tos, and uh, some great food and all that kind of stuff. Again, 10 pounds in four weeks, we're shooting for it, uh, that way we can put those 10 pounds back on in one week. Alright, thanks for watching, Blue Collar Cruising, I'll let you guys know here in about a couple of weeks or so, uh, about you know getting ready and then obviously i will be filming the whole cruise but i appreciate you guys watching subscribe if you like cruising content uh because that's what we do here 73